Well, dear colleagues, thank you very much for the honor to speak at this wonderful event. After my teacher, Sergei Tkachev, and allow me to talk about the STRT uh, of the metastasis of colorectal uh, cancer in liver. Uh, this group of colleagues does not need to explain why this is urgent, but speaking shortly, we understand that it is that for the renal cancer, the full elimination of the metastatic process allows to hope for a long-time remission and sometimes for a complete cure. So, because this disease differs from others, let us look at how important that is when using other local methods and how the metastasis in the liver differ from metastasis uh, in different uh, diseases. As foreign experience shows, there are certain differences, there are certain specific features in them. In the biggest work uh, dedicated to uh, the metastasis of uh, different uh, types of cancer in lungs uh, and the local control of uh, metastasis of the uh, rectal cancers, uh, colorectal cancer is worse, but the survivability is much better. Why is it? Well, this is not the only paper which studied genetic specific features of the metastasis of different tumors, and they developed a system of forecasting the genetic sensitiveness they developed of the tumors. They developed a scale for this sensitivity, and that was the mammal cancer, which is and the uh, uh, rectal adenoid carcinoma uh, was not considered radiosensitive. And I failed to find this paper on an early stage, but we will certainly analyze it a bit later. So there are certain peculiar features which demonstrated that a clin in clinical practice, the sensitivity and resistance can be verified with the results. Another very interesting publication which uh, looks at uh, colorectal cancer as well as the adrenal cancer. And uh, th this is seen as a group of low sensitive cancers to this chemotherapy. But they also tested the local control after stereotactic uh, therapy. And they came to a completely unforeseen uh, conclusions that the uh, predecessing uh, chemotherapy improves the control of radio uh, stereotactic therapy. Most probably this is related to two mechanisms. One of them is just uh, uh, survival of the most resistant clones uh, which are not sensitive to uh, external impact and most probably uh, also the area of microscopic um, uh, dissemination is not modified and what you see in the CT or um, MRI um, is uh, sort of tricky because the metastasis is the same size but it's just not visible in uh, these fresh imaging techniques. The author of this article as in this particular study, the uh, majority of patients were um, with breast cancer and colorectal cancer. Uh, and uh, most probably it, is, uh, bec it becomes less sensitive to stereotactic uh, RT uh, because it is more frequently treated with chemotherapy. But it is not like this. Another uh, RCT that comes from Europe demonstrates that demonstrates the following. You can see here some busy charts and you can see some negative impact of the chemotherapy over the local uh, control and colorectal histology results are uh, shown here. What is interesting, col colorectal histology means a uh, risk factor of uh, local control, but at the same time this is a risk factor of achieving uh, high results of overall survival. 
both in uni and multifactorial analysis. And there are other opinions as well. This is a vast, uh, quite a big American study. Uh, um, they looked at different histological forms, and this is an experience from 25 American oncology centers. This is research database. This is the conclusion that they came to. There is no difference, significant difference, in local control based on histology of the primary tumor. So this is how they verified. Uh, you can see the graphs here. Overall survival in uh, colorectal cancer. It looks good, but the local regional control, um, the graphs do not uh, show any significant, uh, statistically significant different difference. So this is a group of authors that uh, see the um, colorectal liver metastasis separately. And at the moment, this is the biggest uh, um, RCT, which included 217 patients and uh, 233 metastases uh, all in all. I'm not going to speak uh, about it in detail, but they showed the impact of the bioequivalent dose. That means upregulation of the dose uh, shows positive effect, and the volume or size of metastases also matters. This red line shows the following. Um, the volume of metastases does not significantly impact the local regional control, but it impacts overall survival, however strange it may seem. And uh, we demonstrated in our study pretty much the same. Uh, the size of metastasis uh, impacts the local regional control as well. So this is our uh, experience, which is quite modest. Out of 48 uh, men and women with metastasis of colorectal cancer into the liver, uh, you can see that uh, 146 patients, excuse me. And uh, by the way, here, if we come back to the American study, 217 patients, they came from um, database from several American oncology centers, and also some of them were based in Canada. And this is our small initiative group of enthusiasts, which were headed by Sergei Ivanovich and other wonderful experts. So the patients were absolutely different, demographically speaking. They were patients with solitary metastasis into the liver, and also there were patients with inactive metastasis in the liver and um, extra uh, hepatic metastasis as well, so w with progression and without. And uh, these were patients even uh, that we, who were treated even before the concept was formulated as such. And there was also a number of patients where metastases were of reactive nature, so to say. So these are not the metastases that we could control. And after stereotactic um, therapy, they started relapsing and growing again without radiation therapy. And uh, there were also patients who were free of metastasis, but retrospectively we found them. For example, they were too small, like two millimeter um, uh, singular uh, lesion, and we did not interpret it as uh, such. But in fact, it was there. Patients were treated systemically. Also, there was only one patient who was not on systemic treatment at all, but uh, he was on stereotactic therapy. And also, um, he. Uh, there was a patient uh, also who had uh, three to four surgeries, liver surgeries, and uh, uh, generally speaking, completely different uh, time gap uh, in the post-operative period uh, from the surgery to stereotactic radiotherapy. In 40, uh, almost in 40, uh, hemi, um, uh, uh, hepatectomy, and also some local impact over the liver. So in the majority uh, of cases, they were just not treatment naive, far from that. And uh, um, also, some of them uh, in parallel were on systemic treatment from milder uh, regimens to quite aggressive ones, and also in 18 patients, out of 146, there was immune therapy as well, because there was micro micro satellite instability. Now let's look at the metastasis. Uh, it was almost 160 metastases in all these patients, and uh, uh, I suppose there is no sense in talking about sizes and uh, localization. Mainly, uh, they were localized in the liver. Uh, what is interesting is the dose, and this is one of the uh, primary endpoints in our analysis. So the side effects, I suppose, uh, we should say that just in one case they uh, were 
limiting or restricting uh, when it comes to therapy. So actually, we had to revise the treatment regimen because of the side effects. Between uh, sessions um, uh, two and three, there were 25 days. And uh, within other cases, we had um, uh, just uh, regular uh, regimens and regular sessions. The uh, side effects were mild, uh, and uh, we uh, corrected them quite easily. There was some reaction, systemic reactions, which uh, did not require any extraordinary measures or hosp hospitalization. When it comes to uh, uh, radio lesions, and uh, we even had lethal outcomes after stereotactic uh, uh, treatment in, uh, in early days. But nowadays, we don't have such toxic side effects. They were not impacting the um, quality of life. They did happen, but as a matter of fact, we cannot even uh, calculate them or just count them as something uh, significant and uh, related to stereotactic therapy. So uh, this is overall survival graph, and you can see here that 27 percent uh, overall survival, or five-year survival is good. I suppose it surprised us uh, at a certain point, both us and our colleagues, because initially everybody thought that stereotactic therapy of liver metastasis was seen as compassionate treatment when all the other uh, uh, ways of treatment were already exhausted. And I suppose that uh, soon we shall boast 10 years survival and 10 year um, results of our work. Now, another very interesting aspect, if a patient has active metastasis in the liver and they were not subject to ra uh, radio stereotactic therapy, then uh, generally speaking, they uh, live uh, poorer in terms of quality of life. But if they are inactive, then the quality of life is pretty good. What is actually what do we mean by inactive metastasis? Not only the ones that were uh, somehow um, uh, that are dormant because of um, uh, chemotherapy, but also uh, we have a group of patients which initially um, uh, had uh, radical local control. We treated not only metastasis in the liver, but also extrahepatic ones, and we uh, never left. Uh, we didn't leave any um, disease manifestation on a macro level. Uh, local regional control quite good uh, if compared to our uh, colleagues from overseas. This graph by itself doesn't tell us much. We need to uh, subdivide um, into uh, subgroups. So the low dose you can see here that uh, it's uh, much uh, worse control. And here, uh, high dose, uh, they look uh, good. But in three years, metastasis actually progressed. And uh, that uh, ruined our beautiful graph, although it is significant better, significantly better than, uh, than if we compare it to low doses. I suppose that we actually will correct this uh, graph in the future, because um, most of our patients will survive. At a certain point, we thought that all the uh, progression of irradiated metastasis would happen within one year uh, post-treatment, but it happens uh, so that um, even in the long term, uh, we should be alert and should not be missing these cases, because progression may happen. Also here, you can see 45 gray, a summary lesion dose. Uh, this is 30, 36. You can see the results here. 30, 36 gray, there is, the outcomes are not good at all. What also is uh, contradictory to the data of foreign studies, they actually looked at the chemotherapy as such before stereotactic treatment, and we uh, looked at response rate. If there is positive dynamics or stabilization at a certain anti-tumor therapy, uh, at a certain point in, in the anti-tumor therapy, even uh, if we use low-dose stereotactic therapy, the outcomes are good enough. And if we look at the patient, um, and look at the with negative dynamics, uh, so it's uh, the growth continues with chemotherapy provided, and stereotactic uh, treatment is just first stage of treatment. Then the results will be significantly worse. If you look at the intermediary 
conclusions, then we understand that uh, stereotactic radiotherapy is a beautiful, elegant, contemporary uh, type of treatment which results in good local regional control, but we need patient selection for this. And also, what is also very important is uh, that it's a method of, with logical and uh, forecastable uh, safety profile. It's much better than uh, surgery even, which can result in CVDs, for example, uh, during um, uh, 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 during just uh, surgery. Uh, sometimes ulcers can develop if it is if uh, the dose is far from the uh, uh, from the gastric wall, then uh, or from the stomach wall. Then, generally speaking, it is safe enough. Our foreign um, colleagues always strive to have um, escalation 75 gray and above, and or the summary dose. I suppose 54 gray already gives good results. We should not actually be um, striving to escalate it because many patients after that will uh, have to treat new metastasis later. There are uh, patients in my center who actually had irradiation, uh, radiation therapy for three or more times. And the more uh, we save liver function, the better. There will be more chances for future treatment. Lower doses uh, will give us lower parameters of local regional control, but if you use them for a certain reason, for example, it's uh, very uh, close, um, closely adjacent, the tumor is closely adjacent to the stomach wall, for example, to some um, uh, organ, of the function of which you should uh, retain. Uh, you can actually achieve quite good results as well by doing this. Now, uh, I suppose that I should thank you for your attention.